Next on that murder trial, we've been following in Wapaka County. As we've been reporting, William Zelensky is charged with first degree intentional homicide for the 2020 murder of 18 year old Riley Menenti, who Zelensky says stole weapons and $17,000 worth of exotic reptiles from him. Now, yesterday, Zelensky testified he did not intend to kill Riley and acted in self defense. Both the defense and prosecution finished early this afternoon, but the judge delayed the closing argument, so this jury still does not have the case. Our Emily Roberts covering the trial for us today. She joins us from Wapaka. So yesterday we spoke with Jason Zimmerman about Zelensky taking the stand, which may have been a little bit of a surprise. Today he was the focus of the prosecution's cross-examination. What was their focus of that cross? Chris, the prosecution focused heavily today on Zelensky's time as a law enforcement officer, most recently with the Wapaka Police Department back in 2005. And the prosecution asked him, they said, if you were called to a potentially hostile situation, say someone wanted to fight, how would you respond? And Zelensky testified that there is a chance he would pull his gun. Now, we're also seeing that doorbell camera video. They showed it earlier this week and they're showing it again today. And in that doorbell video, we can see Zelensky and Menente arguing, shouting, very verbal with each other and some running around prior to that deadly shooting. They asked him, did you use previous techniques you learned in law enforcement to try to de-escalate the situation. How did you try to do that? Were there any attempts made? And Zelensky replied saying he just tried to stay calm. He tried to keep some distance and he wanted to show his gun so that potentially someone might back off. And then of the prosecution responded. They said, well, then why was that gun loaded? He said, well, say the situation didn't de-escalate. If that gun wasn't loaded, then it would uh, I, excuse my phrasing, backfire on him. So that's really what the prosecution focused on today. All right, again, and the defense trying to make this more of a self-defense issue. Who did the prosecution call for a rebuttal witness today? They called Officer Daniel Wasserd. So they called him because we can see some video, some body cam video from the day of the shooting. Now, he wasn't, we weren't seen showed video of the scene, but he responded when Zelensky reported things stolen from his vehicle. That's the video we're seeing. We're seeing that encounter. And he testified that when they were chatting about the stolen items, Zelensky didn't seem afraid of Menente. He didn't seem too concerned about his safety. All right. And so we mentioned that the closing arguments did not take place today. So what is the schedule tomorrow? What is what does the calendar look like for him? That's right. Jurors are returning at 9 a.m. bright and early, and they can expect to hear some closing arguments from the defense and the prosecution. After that, the judge expects them to get the case for deliberations before noon. So there is a very good chance we could have a verdict tomorrow. All right, Emily, thanks so much. More on this story coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. It is a